The Trinity starting lineup in goal Steve Ray, Jaheel Green, Don Taylor, Kevin Hamilton, Ralston Baker, Tiana Vassal, Neil Walton, Yui Brown, Kami Ramsey, Romain Tomlinson, and Hosani Ennis. They're coached by Nicholas Stewart. Of course, Yui Brown have two goals, five assists, as I mentioned earlier. Also having two goals, Hosani Ennis. They should do very well for their teams. The two captains, Yui Brown leads the Holy Trinity team. Romain Walters, the captain for St. Catherine High. We have an opportunity to take a picture with the referees as well. We'll put that in their album, schoolboy football album. St. Catherine High, this is their team sheet. Omarion Brown and goal, Lennox Lawrence, Roger Taylor, Romain Walters, Nasser Perez Henry, Nathal Ellis, Dwight Gentles, Kadeen Young, Jack Watson, Rolando Redman, and Lavon Taylor. They're coached by Anthony Patrick. Yeah, that's a coach of a lot of prestige, Anthony Patrick. He has done so much in the Jamaican schoolboy landscape, and he's looking to take this St. Catherine team to higher heights. Our Six, Holy Trinity. Trinity nil the full time score Romario Francis sent the game in action and in the 19th minute of play Nathan Ellis audacious strike from distance beating Steve Ray yeah forget about XG he expected to score that one what a strike from distance, the sports max that moment. Another angle, and the beauty remains. Two minutes later, here came Jake Watson stepping forward, beating two players, calm, composed, beating Steve Ray. And yeah, that was goal number two, that in the 21st minute really did well to ride that challenge, finishing the far triangle. Yeah. Easy does it in the end. Jack Watson had a shout of triumph. Look at this touch from Dwight Gentles. Wow, what a first touch. The follow up was good. His, at the time, 12th goal of the season. Dwight Gentles, the 16 year old, doing well for St. Catherine High School. Yeah, another look at that one. That was the first half. And Steve Ray unable to clear well. Sent it only to Young, who had a great shot, sight and goal. Look at this snapshot from Gentles. The second half, much of the same would continue. Great run that from Gentles. Finished with a plum. Had a bit of an injury scare there, but the composure to finish under pain. Yeah, that's the kind of clinical finish you want, even when someone is in pain. I thought it was a an attempted celebration, but recognize it really was pain. Look at this team goal now. Back heel from Young, lifted into the area. And Ronaldo Stewart had a beautiful header. He's the second of the season. Ronaldo Stewart, the substitute, came on for St. Catherine. That was goal number five. And goal number six in the 82nd minute. Lavon Taylor with the corner kick. Nathan Ellis. As it was in the beginning, so it was in the end. Finishing scoring on the afternoon. His second. And six goals of a St. Catherine High in this Zone E fixture. Comprehensively beating Holy Trinity.
and the, the referee had seen enough. Here are the full-time match statistics. 41 shots, 35 of them to St. Catherine. They had 18 on target, only one on target for Holy Trinity. Nine fouls committed by St. Catherine, three for Holy Trinity. One yellow card for St. Catherine. They're lucky. Could have been a red card from my vantage point. 14 corners they had, one to Holy Trinity. 10 saves made by Stephen Ray. And 70% of the possession to St. Catherine with six goals to their credit. And yeah, standing by now. For the Sportsbacks man of the match, Kimani O'Sullivan has that man. Thank you, Dean. I'm joined by MVP, the Sportsmax MVP, Nathel Ellis of St. Catherine. This belongs to you, sir. Congratulations. Talk to me about that goal. Once you got it on top, you look down, you look to the net, bam. Talk me through it. Well, the keeper was off the light, so I take a clear shot. And in terms of pulling the strings from deep, as a deep-lying playmaker, speak to me about your role in the team and what your coach tells you to execute. He, he, told, I, he, do, he told me to stay in the midfield and play the ball right. In terms of that devastating weapon you have up front in your teammate, Gentles, how good is it to play with a striker that's banging in them for fun? Well, he's a good player, no? but when he gets a chance, he's going to score. That is it. And you're just confident he's going to put them away every time? Yes. All right, thank you, Nathel. Congratulations. All right, that was man of the match, Nathel Ellis of St. Catherine. I'm joined now by the Holy Trinity assistant coach. Three points conceded to a team you are chasing down in the standings. How big a defeat is this? Uh, well, you just mentioned it down. It's a down feeling. Uh, as I mentioned in the pre-game interview, uh, a lot of inexperience. And it's uh, today, the game. And we could call it consistently inconsistent. Based on how we played a lot of forced errors. And, but give credit to the St. Catherine team. They are well drilled. Physically, they are in it and tactically also. How damaging was that injury to Yuli Brown to what you wanted to do? Well, uh, he got an injury in preseason and it got a little bit shaken up. So it cost us, but um, just something small. Any update on him? How is he doing? Right? Uh, well, he's been gone to the hospital. Um, nothing really serious, but just a little bit some medical checks. All right, thank you, coach. All the best. All right. All right, that was the Holy Trinity camp. Joined now by St. Catherine, the winners. Coach, they're on your tails. Only three points behind. Now you've dealt with them. How's the feeling? Well, as I said before, you know, it's a matter, of, you know, thinking about who in the zone, you know. But we, we know we, we're going to get the better of them today. But um, it's that, uh, looking forward. Ahead. Asking about Gentles. 14 mm. from as much as four games. Five games now. How impressive is he? Speak to me about him. Well, um, still not there as yet. Still not there as very, very young. This is his first season at centre forward. You know, now this is his third year in, this, in the competition at age 16. I've been playing outside the for the first two seasons. Now I've put him at centre forward, but still, you know, I have a lot to work to do with it. Well, you've dealt with Trinity, as I said. All eyes on Mona and that first part now. Yeah, as I said, um, it's about who win the zone. You know, we, we are looking forward for that return game. Thank you, coach. All the best. Thank you very much. But member wish party start. Peace out. Cool boy, cool boy.